like a uh, there could be another video after this that goes along with this series of sevens let's go ahead and take a look at the seal of the United States and this photo here of Aleister Crowley I want you to see that there is something that is perfectly in place in common between both of these pictures here the United States even goes as far as to call this the Great Seal. And remember that we're talking about the Star Tetrahedron as being the Sixth Seal in Biblical terms. And that once the Sixth Seal is released or loosed, that there would be anarchy. You have to begin to realize that this anarchy is representative of the Peridium Shift, the shift in consciousness because that is overthrowing the previous order, hence for the definition, anarchy. So the main goal is to throw, overthrow the previous order. Who is in control of the previous order of this world? Well, mankind is. Mankind has been given dominion over this world. This dominion that mankind has been given is even further symbolized by this seal in biblical terms. This seal is what binds and looses spiritual entities into or from matter. And they understand this. And they're trying to crack the code, alter the equation to bring what they want into this world. So this would unify the objective that you see of the United States seal with the very same objective of these secret societies of the past the order of the golden dawn. The golden dawn means this coming golden age, this new world order. What's even further interesting to understand, if you don't already think that it's just absolutely crazy that the U.S. has this and even calling it the Great Seal itself, is just the blatancy of the two pictures. We have a beast over here. And above his head is the geometry for the star tetrahedron. We have a beast over here. And above his head, same geometry. Telling you the exact same thing. Aleister Crowley is a beast. Not only is he a beast, but he is striking a pose of a particular beast. He's striking the pose of the walrus. And if you look into a song by the Beatles, which is entitled I Am the Walrus, you might be able to figure this out. But nonetheless, he is not just being any old beast right now. He's trying to fulfill the particular attribute, attributes of a certain type of beast. So th this beast and that beast are unified. They have the same goal, the same objective that can be understood when you realize the focus is upon this symbol. What they're trying to do is the very same thing that links us back to Solomon in this symbol. And lo and behold, the symbol is known as Solomon's seal, a seal once again. And then this would tie us back up to the biblical term of which these rebel beings have been sealed. And the book of Enoch would clarify that Michael and Gabriel are the ones that have set the seal upon them. So the seal is not evil. The seal is not bad. The seal is intrinsically linked to your free will because Jesus Christ has given you dominion over it. So basically, the seal represents our dominion over the world and even the world energy construct. And this is where you'll find out that quantum physics is telling us the same thing, that we have dominion over the earth. Well, they are taking this knowledge of your dominion over the earth, hiding it from you, and then using it to manipulate this field, this energy equation, to bring these guys through the gate. And it's the same objective that we see in the Legends of Solomon, that he was using this to manifest demons. Well, we see that it's the same thing with Aleister Crowley and the good old USA. I'll be back.